On to the iPhone. It's a marketing miracle. If you haven't got one, you want one, and no wonder. It can do everything from directing you to the nearest public loo to telling you where you've left your car or the temperature tomorrow in Beverly Hills. If you're very lucky, you might even be able to make a phone call on it. But that's not guaranteed because iPhone have achieved a worldwide reputation for freezing up. So has the iPhone become too clever for its own good? The ads are always telling us the iPhone can do this and this. But they don't tell us that for some people, it's also does this. The screen goes blank and it won't work unless you completely reboot it. It's what iPhone fans are calling coma mode. While it's sleeping, you won't know if anyone's called or emailed, leaving it useless. Meet Paul Hutton, a self-confessed iPhone addict. It's been happening to him for weeks, sometimes two or three times a day. It's got so bad he now carries a spare phone around with him just in case. The frustration there is you don't know if it's sat on your desk, um, whether it's just in standby and operational, or if it's gone into coma mode. My twin sister is due to give birth today, right. so I'm, I'm really hoping that the phone doesn't uh, <laughs> the phone doesn't pack up. Um, Although it does seem to be quite unhappy. It's, uh, it's just got the Apple logo sat there on the screen. I know, here we go, it's come back to life. Good. Paul's problems started in the summer when he updated to the latest software. Since then, the revolutionary new phone hasn't just fallen in and out of coma mode, it's suffered a string of other glitches too. With no warning or, uh, or indication as to, to why it had happened, the Wi-Fi access failed completely. It stopped recognising any wireless networks. It was not working correctly, it became unstable, people would dial in and the tone would be that of a phone that's been cut off. Other iPhones across the globe have suffered the same problems. It's a hot topic on manufacturer Apple's own website. We asked a world-renowned telecommunications expert why some iPhones keep falling asleep. The difficulty is that it, it's a skittish kind of a thing. Uh, it doesn't happen every time, luckily. It just happens in certain circumstances, depending on how much you have stored on the on the iPhone, how many applications you have, which applications, and which version of the operating system. And that's why you hear from some people they've had these problems, and, that, and other people say, I don't know what all the fuss is about, I never had a problem. Our expert reckons the problems may be down to all those flashy applications that Apple are always banging on about. They're one of the iPhone's main selling points. With apps, you can pay your bills, order some tea, and arrange a delivery. But has it got a little too clever? What people have been calling coma mode is a more extreme situation than the crash. The more applications you download onto your iPhone, um, the more likely you are to have these kinds of problems. Michael thinks that iPhones fall into a coma when applications start playing up. The first thing that the operating system will do is, is, is to shut down the program, the application, which is, it thinks is causing the problem. I like to compare it to a nightclub bouncer. If there's a, bit, if there's a bit, of, bit of a commotion in the nightclub, the first thing the bouncer does is to eject the person or the people he thinks is causing the problem. If it gets really bad, maybe the police will shut down the whole place. And that's really what the operating system is doing. An iPhone that keeps shutting down is no good. So what are Apple doing about it? We asked them, and a few days later, they released a new software fix. But has it solved the problem? Well, it looks promising. More iPhone owners with Anita. Has the Apple fix done the trick for them? Well, we'll find out. How many of you have got one of these cool, shaky, swooshy iPhones? So a few of you. OK, how's yours? Fine. It's working fine? Yep. How about you, James? Mine, uh, sadly, the wireless doesn't work anymore, and I've tried the latest two Apple updates, including the one last Friday, and, and still doesn't work. No joy. No joy at Not all. Not so cool now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, it's the same for Paul, who we saw in the film. The fix has solved most of his problems, but he still can't get Wi-Fi. Apple say that's a hardware, not a software fault, but as his phone is still under warranty, they'll replace it. Apple also say they don't agree with our expert, because no matter how many apps you have on your iPhone, they only work one at a time. They've told us their fix properly called software update 3.1.2 is a free update that provides a number of bug fixes. You may not even have realised that you need it but our website bbc.co.uk slash watchdog has got the details of how to get it. Annie have you got an iPhone? No I haven't and I think you need to learn Apple as a second language. Anyway the 3.1.2 update is only a week old. So far it hasn't made all iPhone owners contented customers as we've seen. Let us know if it has or hasn't worked for you. And coming up, 